Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Chris and Kiara. Today we're going to be making these little cute hash browns. They're so easy to make and they're delicious. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The first step is to boil your potatoes. Put the potatoes inside the pot. Anything that grows on the ground, like potatoes, put it in cold water and then start boiling it when it's not growing on the ground. Like let's say broccoli, boil your water and then put your broccoli in. So yeah, that's a good tip. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add a pinch of salt and then we're gonna start boiling this. Put your lid on and then wait for the potatoes to get soft. I think these are done, but just to make sure, I have a skewer right here just going to poke it and if it goes in soft that means it's done so just going to get some tongs and then put my potatoes inside some cold water so now to show you how to peel your potatoes easily do it like a crack and then it will peel easily off how easy was that? Next step is to put it in the fridge and cool it down for a couple of hours. So now we're back with cold potatoes. We're going to start grating the potatoes. Cooling the mashed potatoes makes it easier to grate. I'm going to empty it into the bowl and then do it with the next one. Watch your fingers. And easy like that, you've got nice, fine potato mash. I'm going to divide this in half so I can make two different kinds of the hash brown. First, I'm going to start off with a simple salt and pepper. And then some salt. Mix that in. Now, I'm going to make them into little bowls. So that's our plain ones done. Now we're going to move on to our spices, spice hash browns. Today has some curry powder, some coriander, some cumin, habanero pepper, and yeah. So I'm going to be adding my spices inside. And then a pinch of salt. And you can experiment any kind of flavors you want, so have fun with it. Now I'm going to mix it with my hands. You want to mix it nice so you don't have any clumps of spices when you eat your hash browns. I'm going to make it into balls like I did with the normal ones and make them flat. This is really fun and it's really easy. So please try it because it's you can make it any time. And if you don't have time, you can also put it in the freezer and they'll make the process faster. So I have my Justy Bruno here. I'm going to just turn my heat on to high and wait for that to warm up. While that's warming up, I have some non-flavored oil that I'm going to put on after it warms up. But I have some cornstarch. So I'm going to put my potatoes inside. This will give it a nice crunch and then just pat it off. You don't want too much on it, so just get your cornstarch off. And do it with the rest of them. So while you're doing this, it's a nice time to shake it as well. I think my pan is nice and hot, so I'm going to put my unflavored oil. Wow. Unflavored oil. You want to cook these until it has a nice golden brown color. Remember the potatoes are already cooked so you just want the nice crunch on the outside. How good do these look? You get done, so I'm going to put 
put them on the spoon. So as my little buddy Jordan says, easy peasy. <laughs> really, it's easy peasy. You can have it with ketchup or any kind of sauce, but today I'm going to be using the Odafuku Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Ketchup sauce. This, this is really good and it goes well with the hash browns. So I'm going to put it on some, a plate. Before we have a taste test, let's cut it and see inside. It's nice and crispy on the outside and it's nice and soft in the inside. Let's give this a taste. Mm. Wow, that is so good. It's like crunchy but it's the inside is nice and soft. It's really good to so try this and definitely get this. If you head off to my Instagram, you can see recipes using this Otafuku sauce. So please do follow me and check out my Instagram. And I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, um, like and subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you also for all your support. And... See you next time. Bye! How good does these? Oh my gosh! How good does these? Do, how good does? These, how good do these look? How good do do do? Um, how good does? How good does this? No. How good do these look? How, how good do these look? <laughs> how good does these look? <laughs> do these? How good does the? How good do these look? How good do these look? <laughs> it's okay. How good do these? <laughs> <laughs>